Okay, here we are out in the garden again. Yeah, I've got my straw hat on. See my big hole in my straw hat? I could stand to have a stand to have a new straw hat. I actually got a couple more, but I can't find them right now. But anyhow, just a really quick uh, overview here today. I'm finished with the long garden logs because uh, I'm finished with most of the work. So let's just sort of check, do more or less a recap here. I did today right here in this little plot. I planted uh, cucumbers in this little plot right here back up so you can see where they are in relation to everything else. Uh, I didn't show myself planting them because it's just, you know, fairly a routine thing. I'll probably, that's about, uh, well, it's about nine, ten foot long. I'll probably leave uh, nine or ten plants in there. Probably more than what a lot of people would leave. And then right out here I planted straight, see so that was a straight eight cucumbers, by the way used to plant one called uh, Poinsett 76. That's a very good one. It's actually even uh, produces straighter cucumbers than the straight eight. But I just never got around to going and buying that seed. The garden place I went to didn't have it, so I didn't look elsewhere. So uh, this here is a straight neck squash. It's a yellow squash, and it's straight neck as opposed to crook neck squash. <laughs> I think you can tell the difference in that without me explaining it. So this here is about eight foot long, and I will leave either three or four plants in there. I planted quite a few, but I'll leave three or three or four. Okay, so there's that, and then we've covered the beans. If you've not seen the other long garden logs, uh, this is beans planted here, which took me a pretty good while to string. And this is my tomato plants right here. They're coming along fairly nicely except I'll get to that in a minute and there's my uh, peppers and peppers and this is actually my best looking tomato plant so far so I will do a little bit of a, of a close-up of it it's uh, doing quite a bit better than the rest of it. I actually did uh, you saw me replant the replant these uh, tomatoes right here because of the frost and uh, something was eating on them so I went ahead and uh, yeah, I replanted them again. They still look a little bit yellow. They was looking a little bit yellow there out of the uh, out of the uh, planter thing, out of the little flat. But uh, I think they'll they'll probably come around if they don't if they don't get eat on. It's uh, I think any gardener runs across this every year you plant. You always have one item that really really does great, and one item that really really does bad. I'm hoping my bad items not my tomatoes, but uh, I've got five plants so out of that many I should have something so that's pretty much it uh, I don't know if you can see that or not well let's see here's what you one thing you want to avoid right there I'll just gross everybody out here to, I haven't had uh, a blister out here planting goodness I haven't had a blister in four or five years I'll bet planting planting the garden uh, and I was wearing gloves I don't know I just made a blister this time for some reason I hate doing that mm. So anyhow, and uh, yeah, on these uh, squash and cucumbers, I did put a light coating of uh, light coating of grass clippings on top of them to keep the ground from crusting over, just like I did the beans. Oh, and I thought I also would mention that since I've got all this done here and I'm not quite as busy right now, I really do hope to get to watching and commenting on more people's videos, and I really hope to within the next week get out another episode of the random my random snippets uh, videos, which I really love doing them, but they they take a lot of time. But uh, I'm going to keep them up, and uh, within a week, I promise within within a week, I hope to get one of those out, and I think this will be my best one yet. Okay, bye everybody. Oh, <laughs>